So guys, we're back. Um, I'm recording this in a diff kind of a different window kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. How I don't know. So hopefully you won't see the activate Windows button button um, thing down here. I don't know. Um, so obviously it's been a while, but uh, I don't know. So I don't know how mass is going to look. Hopefully it goes away. So I, <clears throat> After cooking myself a rudimentary meal, I considered picking up another book when the doorbell rang. Hey, Horizon. Is hey, Bashan, do you my help again? We just a small town police department. It was brass removed from the case. Our is often in the neighbor. I understand. So, what do you have for me? First up is the primary witness from the latest murder. Damien, the victim was innocent. He was the first one to found her body. A few things have changed since this morning, as we've gotten quite some addition, additional information from residents that warrant further question. I know ye. I kind of yeah. I know ye need a victim personally, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'll leave the choice up to you. You can find his assistant at the production facility. Thing is, though, I never spent any time with her besides the beginning of the game. <sighs> you might see, you might, you seem interested in out on the ground being near, found near the portal. I'll read there as you might actually be able to help with that since it's suspected you. This is turn more. What's the, what's the word? What's the word? Southern? Yeah, Southern. Whatever. Since it's suspected to be of a human of her origin, <laughs> your opinion will be greatly appreciated. I guess I should add an archaeologist to my resume. Maybe human models consultant would be more appropriate. Do you think it's okay for me to tamper with your priceless discoveries? Oh, you wouldn't act to go there in person. I just want you to take a look at the collected information in your cards and give your opinion. Besides, no one's allowed to visit at the moment. The building is old and unstable. And there's a danger of it collapsing and floating. Obviously, we don't want either of those to happen. Floating? Yeah, the old building's underground. And we determined that there is a lot, rather large pocket of water surrounding it. Any kind of disturbance could endanger everything and everyone is hard. I see. We also located another witness for this murder. A store clerk reported seeing and hearing something. So it's probably worth investigating, probably worth asking him a few questions. Got it? Here's the details. Visit me in the apartment once you're in. Sure thing. It's interesting that they still relied on me for their investigations, even after they tried to spin back to the world. I didn't expect them to allow me to help with police matters after everything has happened. Now the possibility of sending me back was eliminated. The advantages of having me on their side was side apparently out, outweighed the risks. Though I had to wonder who would have though I had to wonder who would have to be more careful from now on. Okay. What should I do? Is it production facilities, was it this archives, is it the store? Um I probably should have watched the last episode a bit more to remember what happened. I think I need to get or uh a dine wanted. The uh the 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 the, 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 um, the blueprints or something like that. Um, let's head over to the police archives. I was on my way to the police station when a voice called out to me. Uh, hey you, I'm looking at you, human. Oh, there's a conference. Your color changed. You were brown, now you're pink. Can I help you? Is it only helps it? No. So we hope so. I'm in a little condom trip here. My car seems to be suck. I can see that. I I'm Katsuharu, by the way. Local ice cream vendor. Ryzen, you've probably heard of me by now. Of course, of course. In any case, do you think you could spare some time for oh. It might take a while though, uh, so I hope you're not the rush. Um, 
sure. I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't kill anyone. Thank you. No. Well, I tried pulling it out, uh, but I think the asshole is going to break if I do that again. I, will, I, will, <clears throat> I wasn't really in the best condition to begin with, honestly. And I heard it crack. Hey, <coughs> come on, I thought I was done with that. Crack when I would try to pull it out, Olivia. So what do you want me to do? Cut's pretty heavy, so I'll be the one lifting it and holding the wheel steady. See if it doesn't break. Once I get a sign, you start pulling. And hopefully, that'll do the trick. Alright. Here, grab the handles and wait for my second. By the time I got in position, Katsuharu was already on the other side of the, other side of the cart. Getting dirty as he slowly lifted the affected corner of the cart out of the muddy hole. Is that your sign? Should I start pulling? Do it, do it now. I started pulling, but the cart turned out to be much heavier than I expected and didn't move. What do you mean? Do it already. I pulled harder, but the cart refused to budge. I mustered all my strength before I pulled all as far as I could. Yes, do it. Slowly, the cart started moving, and after a few seconds, it was freed from the perilous clutches of the muddy puddle. With a dull thud, the dragon set the cart down again before he flopped onto the ground, exhausted. Hey, we did it. Yeah, good job. Uh, do you want me to call you some help? No. She needs to rest. Maybe some ice cream. Yes, I'll have some ice cream. And I'll be better, no problem. Let's see some pretty good ice cream. Oh, you have no idea. You uh, must have already heard people talking about my wonderful, unique ice cream experience. Actually, not really. Uh, hello, my manners. I haven't even properly thanked you yet. It's no problem. No, I insist. I won't be indebted to you for helping me. What are you planning? You are hereby invited to join me for ice cream. As an ambassador, uh, you owe it to yourself and now you try it. Maybe I do. Well, I must get going now. Here's my number. I'll give you that ice cream some other time. Thanks. I helped him. By the time my next move, I returned to my apartment for a moment to rest. A small piece of paper had been slipped under my door was gone. Don't go to the portal, was all it said. I considered the possibility of a hidden message. That was unlikely. The statement was blunt and quickly swelled. So clearly didn't want me to go to the portal. But why sh would I go there in the first place? As if it, as it was out of order right now. Such an action would serve no purpose. Outside the window, at the portal's faint silhouette in the distance, a vapor rustled between my fingers as I fidgeted with, fidgeted with it, wondering about the messenger's sender and significance. My train of thought was violently interrupted by a sharp burst of gunfire echoing from the portal. I had to think fast. Gunshots ensured Razor's involvement. He was at the portal. The question was, why? If this was his attempt to flee back to human worlds, he would receive a rather unpleasant surprise the moment he would try to use the portal. Maurice Sebastian's theory was correct. And Reza held the part needed to repair the portal, in which case his escape would be imminent. Gunshots themselves were another question. Was someone trying to stop him? The police patrol may have seen him, and he may have take, been taken by surprise. This could be another murder in progress. But all his murders were committed with a sharp weapon before now. Not a gun. He didn't want to be heard. Besides, it was only early in the evening, and the town was still bustling. If Razor wanted to stay hidden, he was doing a rather poor job at it. Of course, there's also a possibility that he wanted to be heard, but who would we want to attract? The police? Maverick? It could easily be a trap for those hunting him, and the, and that technically could me. Though I wasn't sure if he knew my involvement in his investigation. There's also a very real possibility that he knew my apartment was close enough to pull to hear a gunshot. Could it be a signal for me? Regardless, the words I held in my hand were unmistakable. Do don't go to the portal. What should I do? Um. Well, I mean, I think it'd be interesting to go to the portal, but like, I wanted to go to the police station, and then some old man did a dumb, so I don't know. I'm just going to take the advice, because the last advice I was given, I didn't do because I was stupid. <laughs> So I should gonna call the police. Ultimately, I trusted. That's I don't want that. Uh, ultimately, I trusted the mysterious message, Remy's list of phone, Remy's list of phone numbers. That's what we call it. Given to me while he <sighs> given to me what when he brought me to his, this apartment. I fucking know. Uh, in the first place, proved to be a valuable tool. 
I dialed the emergency line and was greeted by a calm voice asking me about my emergency. The gravity of the situation was understood, and I was advised to stay inside until further notice. The team was dispatched to deal with the situation while I waited. From a window, I tried to catch a glimpse of what was going on at the portal, but I couldn't see much. The dark of night was approaching fast. After an hour later, I was informed the team had searched perimeter, though no trace of Rizzo was found. I was given the go-ahead to continue with my investigation, but I was free to stay where I felt... Can I read? Where I was if I felt unsafe. Okay. It's not what I should do. Okay. Um, let's finally go to the police archives. I have a situation. I was met by the police arch archivist, a dragoness, who introduced herself as Kayleth. Oh, yeah, new voices. Um, I'll give you one as I guess. Hey, you're not correct. No, that doesn't fit you up. Whatever. Hey, you're not correct. Press compiled all of the case files of the Ever since you came to our world, you seem to be a lot more interested in these human mysteries. I wonder if it has something to do with you. Anyway, you can find all the files here. I'll leave the rest of you. Uh, study. <clears throat> Study the blueprint of the underground building near the portal. Read the structural damage report. The ground portal, play a prank. Learn to the trash. Well, obviously, we gotta run rummage through Man of the Badass' hero soul. So, Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, what is this? It's a flat base with a circular indent to top. Never seen this before. Alright, it's an. I. <sighs> I know what. Pronounced this before. Exomen sphere. Ex Exomen sphere. Fuck. Sphere. You acquired sphere base. <laughs> um. Let's get the blueprint. Blueprint of the building caught my attention. Apparently, it had been found during their cursory cursory investigation within the building itself. At first glance, nothing stood out to me, but the more I studied it, the more the facts revealed themselves. Both, the, both of, the, of its entrances, 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 come on, were freed and accessible by the police in charge. One was through a tunnel in the vicinity of the portal, and the other through a dig, a dig that cut through the town sewer system. So, I went down the sewer system like, I'm not looking at my watch, um two episodes ago three um i probably could have got there but whatever <sighs> bryce had scrawled a note near the second entry it simply said access the hatch button button counterclockwise it's pretty easy uh furthermore the data in the corner of the blueprint listed the structure as an independent living and research unit dated to the year 2047 most interestingly, most interestingly, I recognized the name of the company that was listed. They were a well-established super company before our world's collapse, known for their advances in scientific fields and otherwise through the use of legal loopholes in gray markets. I thought there should be a comma there. I don't know. I'm not the best at English. They were very successful at what they did. The facilities subverted laws and ethical issues by being in areas where such concerns were non-existent, or could be made non-existent by paying off the right individuals. Naturally, the products and applications of their research was usually fair game to be used and sold worldwide. There, they were also only one of the companies involved in championing the teleportation technology that was, that was about to take off on a grand scale before the solar flare change of him. Of course, there were public worries regarding the untested, long-term consequences of using black holes and such technology. It was outlawed in certain countries due to these concerns, but lobbies and the private sector drove many of them to be many of them to accept the tech in light of their boundless advantages offered. There was also a there, there were also big in medical, security, and weaponry fields. Uh, their vast knowledge and close cooperation of the individual departments enabled them to make any many breakthroughs. It seemed like they could do anything they set out to do. The nanomachines, son, that became commonplace before the fall were, of course, also their product. No one was surprised that the tech fa failed under the radiation 
Shin of the Ion Storm, I can read, uh, had, had the company behind it been more concerned about the safety rather than the profits, perhaps fewer lives would have been lost. Even though they weren't perfect, the Animal Machine Sun had still increased the quality of life for many people. It was a new day of treating medical conditions, some of which had been previously untreatable. They were also widely used for their performance enhancing properties for both day to day activities and to assist with dangerous jobs. Beyond that, the company had never even breached into the genetic engineering. Human hereditary diseases were becoming a thing of the past as they developed techniques to alter human life to its core. Ultimately, they had a hand in influencing every area of life on a global scale. It was unknown who was truly calling the shots, as their network of companies and names was vast. It was only one of their many ways to ensure their continued existence and avoid liability. Where they had been outlawed or their operation shut down, new companies with suspiciously similar products appeared practically overnight. However, no matter how big their empire was and how well they squared the lines, they ultimately collapsed just like the rest of the world. That being said, how this building make its way into Dragon's world and why was that information relevant? Because that seems like a long tangent over nothing. As I pondered this, a dying's request came to my ouch. Ryan's request came to mind. I used Bryce's machine to make a copy of the map for her. Bryce probably wouldn't approve of me giving evidence to civilians, but I was sure he would never realize it. Got the map. Huh. We'll get a time. I better wrap it up here. Darn, I guess I don't look at how bad the building is, even though I was already told that's so as is. Phew. It's getting late. I better head to the police station now. I was just th no, it's the police archives. Dumbass. Do I have everything? All right, let's see what Sebastian will say this. My investigation is going so bad. I barely do anything. Ah, oh, there you are, Horizon. Seems to me you've taken a liking to Bryce's chair. Maybe. I could get used to this. Don't tell Bryce, dude. By the way, good job calling the police when you heard Razor. It's too bad he got away. But maybe a witness will come forward and we'll find out what happened. Hey, let's take a look at what you got for me. What you learned about the map is fascinating. If it's not a little uncertain. If not a little uncertain. Well, it's good to have confirmed its origin. To know that it came from your world is something else. Raises more questions than answers. How could something like a whole bin end up in our world? It's a mystery that needs to be answered. Not bad at all, son. Not bad at all. Thanks for your help. I do what I can. I do. And your help is greatly appreciated. Believe me. Especially since we're so short on staff right now. That will be all for today. I'll contact you if you need it. Wow, well, if you need anything from you. Of course. See you next time. See you. Finally, free day. What should I do? Well, oh wow, he's actually an option. But I don't want to date old man. Um, a dime, obviously. Here we go again. Just a minute. I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, you said something about going to the beach? Yep. You know, I'm glad they decided not to send you away after all. You do? Oh, uh, I guess. Guess we got hot entry confirmation. Let's not find confirmation. We did. <laughs> Who's Remy? Remy, 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 Remy. Remy, I can remember a Remy. Remy, a Remy. Do I remember a Remy? Uh, let's see. You could date Bryce. You could date a Dine. You could date Anna. Lorum. Science Man. That was Remy. Uh, is it me? Don't be silly, Horizon. I've got it right here in black and white. We're happy to confirm your entry into the annual stunt fine competition. Please have your competent competitor number ready and show at the organizers booth at the summer's festival by well who cares about the rest i'm in i think it's i think it just 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 maybe i think it's important to know when you gotta show up just just a small thing it's great yeah but the festival is pretty soon and i i have to make the most of the time i have most of the time <sighs> I have to make most of the time until then to get my skills up to par. I thought you had years of experience. Yeah, 
but now I have to practice the best routine I possibly can come up with. Not to mention making sure I can execute it flawlessly when the time comes. Practicing in general is very different than practicing for an event like this one. I see. Are you ready to see some stunt time? Sure. Let's go then. So, this is where you usually practice? I practice just about anywhere, but today is a nice day for the for a beach visit. Water and sand are also good surfaces for to practice complicated maneuvers on, in case you can't make the landing. Makes sense. Well, don't let me hold you up. Oh, I can't stop boxing right now. I'm still giddy with excitement from getting the ladder earlier. Besides, I want to hang out with you while we're here as well. Sounds good to me. You visit the beach often? Not really. Except for practice, that is. It does make a for a nice backdrop while I fly, though. I see. Do you ever go to the beach? Nah, it's not something that's possible for me in the last couple of years. But it certainly but it certainly used to be something other people do. I see. Sending yourself can be nice sometimes, but I'm not really a fan of going swimming. There is so much more you can do at the beach, though. Like what? You already mentioned sunning. Do you ever get a tan? How? What's that? I guess it's a no thing. To be fair, you are completely covered in scales, so I imagine you wouldn't be affected. Wait. Isn't the player character a biologist? So wouldn't they know that lizards sunbathe fairly often? Like, I guess it depends on what you go into. But still, it's like general knowledge? I don't know. Tan tanning is a reaction of the skin when it's <coughs> tanning is reaction of the skin when it's exposed to light sunlight. If you stay in the sun for a while, our skin can get darker. Not in my case, I just turn red. How strange. And if it flows too long, we can even get what's called a sunburn. What's that? Well, the skin can take a reddish tint, and it can be painful and cause dizziness. So you have to be careful not to stay in the sun too long. Pretty much. Though it isn't necessarily true for all of us, depending on the skin tone. People can be more or less affected by the radiation. I see. That sounds complicated. Water. Let's get water. Ah. Does that mean we should stay out here too long? Just be careful. Don't worry about it. Eh. I have no idea what skin tone the character is, but I'm sure. I see. Just let me know if I need to do anything. Sure. we Will do. Uh, almost said you're thinking about dying, sir. You what? Ugh. You said you didn't like swimming at all, <coughs> at all much, that much. Why is that? Well, as you can imagine, I prefer the air to sea. Even though we flies have quite a relationship with water. What kind of relationship are we talking about? We use it to hunt. I see. So you go fishing, but you can't swim that well. Pretty much. We can do enough. We can do enough to safely hunt and paddle on the surface, but that's about it. If we actually want to go swimming, it's recommended we wear a life vest. Is, is it that bad? All wings are made for flying, not swimming. The movements and musculature, musculature are the different. With some training, we can learn to swim better, but it still won't really be effective. I see. Again, you are a biologist. I, well, I guess I've watched a lot of sea documentaries, but like, it's like, you know, birds like uh not pelican um seagull you know they dive down i don't swim too well but they can they go up they dive down and then they use their wings to get back up because you know they don't you know have gills that doesn't factor and besides who would choose to learn this swim if we already have the air to ourselves dying's just your thing i guess pretty much you made it sound as if beaches are a pretty important thing to keep for humans I would say it's important, rather it's a unique way for humans to spend time. It was often done as a leisure activity, or a way to spend holiday vacations. That sounds pretty important to me. What else do you do at the beach? What do you think? I got an idea and started looking for something to do on the sand, in the sand on the ground. With a bit of digging, I found a flat, smooth stone and showed it to it. You're on the beach. Like, the first thing that comes to beaches is sand castles. I'm pretty sure for most people, because that's just how it is in American culture, maybe. Um... Tossing a stone on the skipping skipping stone is lake activity because I don't know, there's not fucking waves. 
Do you have any idea what I'm going to do this? Not really. Let me show you something. Look at the edge of the water, followed, cl followed closely by a dime. Now watch this. Extend my arm with the best technique I could muster. Through the stone towards water. Spinning in the air, the stone bounced on the water surface a few times before it sent me to the sea. What's that? Stone skipping. Never heard of it? Yeah, you're probably like not going to do it on the ocean. I guess in-game character is an absolute god at this because I don't know. It's the fucking ocean. You know how many... Like the waves? Bruh. Ever heard of waves? Like I can see them. Right there. No, how'd you do that? I can show you. Looked around for another sizable stone and soon found one near the edge of the water. I also like to know where the fuck are you finding stones? Like here? Yeah, but that's like a good Oh you cannot see the cursor. It's from like <coughs> edge of water to here. That's a good I don't know, two minute walk? One minute? I don't know, it's a lot of time. Where are you finding stones along here? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Let's start with the, the stone. Ideally, we want one that's that uh, has a big surface area, but it but is as flat as possible. Got it. This one is always smooth, which helps you. Okay, so we need smooth, flat stones. Now, the technique is pretty important. I'm not sure how well this will translate to your autonomy, but I'll show you how I do it. We can figure out what to do. What? Uh, what? Wow. Uh, we can figure out what you, you can do. Okay. Well, this one like this. Send your arm, and curl it like this. Then, you have to throw it in such a way that it stays relatively stable in the air, but spins as fast as you can make it. I do it like this. I threw the stone once again, it, and this is almost again, showing her how it subsequently bounced a few times. The water surface before it sunk into the sea. I'm not sure if I can do that. We'll see. Uh, maybe we can figure something out. Let's look for a stone first. Okay. We both started looking for another appropriate stone. I saw Dine scratching around the sand with one of her feet. She crouched down and picked something up before she returned to me. Yeah, what about this one? That should work. See, you've already got that part down. I guess so. Okay, now for the sneak. So it's holding the stone in the claw in She's holding the stone in the claws at the edge of her wing. Shouldn't that be with? Because if it's inside the claws, I think that'd be somewhat painful. I tried to guide her by pulling her wing back like I would an arm, but it became clear to me that it lacked a dot of maneuverability as an I would have. With Rel, you'll want to move your wing forward as fast as you can, and by and at the very end of the extension, let go of the stone. I'll try. I see you're moving her wing awkwardly. She pushed it forward before releasing the stone, which shrunk without bouncing a single time. That didn't work. Yeah, uh, there wasn't really, wasn't enough spin to it. God. Let me try again. Alright. I waited a few steps into the water to achieve the stone she'd thrown only moments ago. Okay, God, you are a god at this then. <laughs> here we go here you go I'll try something different this time feel free instead of using her wings she took the stone one of her dexterous claws and used her feet <sighs> she took the stone into <sighs> she took the stone into the dexterous claws on one of her feet as she continued to stand on the other leg Effort effortlessly she pulled her leg back before rapidly moving it forward and releasing the stone. I flew a bit on an upwards arc before it bounced on the water's surface and subsequently sunk into the ocean's waters. Nice. Not bad, huh? An idea you could do that with your leg. Actually, all legs is what we mainly use the grapplings. It's... It only gets complicated if I'm supposed to be moving at the same time, like when I'm waiting at the cafe. Bruh, you're a biologist. You can easily see that her... Four limbs. Um, can grab stuff, but it's like a bat. They only use it, you know, to just kind of hold on to stuff, but not that dong. Like, bruh, are you a biologist? Oh, the water went everywhere. Yeah. Interesting. I suppose that someone who's been flying a while. 
has been hunting while flying. That's pretty much a requirement. It is. Actually, if I'm at home and eating chips or something, I use my feet as well. Sounds kind of gross. Sounds kind of funny. Wish I could do that with my feet. Um. Yeah, sure. More hands. Everybody. Out. Yeah, some monkeys can. Uh, some monkeys actually can. They basically have hands instead of feet. So they have four hands. Yep. That seems like it'd be kind of. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'll stop laughing at these jokes. No, yeah, fine. But I think I like movies better. That was a neat trick, though. What else can you do to beach? I don't know. Build sand castles. I haven't done that in like two decades. Oh, I was thinking the same thing as with this guy. I was like, I wonder how they would build sand castles, and why dragons would build castles. I feel like they'd want to make a. Hovel in a mountain. Whatever. I tried to imagine what a dime building sand castles would look like beside based on what I knew, not knew now. She probably wouldn't be using her wings. Would you believe me if I told you we have contest for building sand castles back home? Really? Yeah. People would build huge detailed sculptures that would be taller than both of us. Just with sand. Oh wow. That sounds hard, though. It is, it's not that hard. You could try it if you like. Yeah, sure. Huh. I'm not sure I have the patience for that. To me, it seems a bit straight, a bit... It, it seems a bit of a shame to build big, elaborate structures out of something like sand that clearly won't last. I mean, we're going to spend so much time on it. Why not create something that will stay? Maybe. It's actually a point of its contests. Yeah, I guess. I really... Yes, people demonstrate their skill in creating these sculptures, and by using something like sand, they prove that it doesn't matter if the sculpture gets destroyed in the end, because they can do what they like. Hopefully you didn't hear my sister, because I was in the middle talking, and I, don't, I can edit can that out. I see, that sounds pretty interesting. Actually, it's not unlike your stunt flying competition. How so? Well, during your competition, nothing lasting is created from the performance itself. It's about it's all about experience and memories. You have to prove that you are skilled enough to do those stunts right and at that very moment, just for the competition. That's a good point. I'm in a mood for a snack. Should I get some for you as well? Um Sure. I'll eat raw fish, I guess. Alright. You can watch me if you like. Maybe you can learn a thing or two from it. Yes, if I forget my wings. <laughs> you wanna teach me how to fish? Sure, since you taught me the... what's it called again? Stone skipping. Right. Since you taught me stone skipping, I can teach you how to fish. <laughs> yes, because it's all translate so well. Actually, we have two different ways of doing it. There's hunting and angling. Personally, I prefer hunting though. I can see why. Let me demonstrate. She took a few steps back, then started running towards the edge of the sea. Rapidly, rapidly flapping her wings, she jumped into the air at the last, at the last second, taking off and flying around the area. I can see her staring at the sea intently, circling a few times before descending towards the water's surface. Claws extended. When she got close enough, her claws suddenly sunk into the water, only to reappear with the fish in its their grasp. Afterwards, she returned and landed near me. Did you see that? Yeah, but I think I just, I think my dis distinct lack of wings would probably prevent me from doing the same thing. You don't have to do exactly the same thing. In the end, I'm just grabbing them right out of the sea. You could do that. Oh, I guess I'm doing a family Zoom call soon. Hopefully, I have time to get to the state. I'm not sure about that. How that's a lot easier for uh, with your claws. Fish can be pretty slippery. I can't see for a point. Well, they said the other method. Angling. Yep, angling. See my tail. She showed me her tail. At the end, there was a fork, which, with its distinct shapes, size, and color, it reminded me a lot of a banana. What about it? This is the pit. How? She sat down near the edge of the water, letting her tail hang down into it. It can take a while sometimes, but there are techniques which can speed up the process. Like, I don't know, putting something different at the end? 
random movements attract different kinds of fish. That way, we can even choose what we're going to get. And that works? Yeah, not all the time, but often, yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> Even groups that exchange tips for angling this way. Suddenly, I saw her tail whip upwards, which caused the fish to be launched towards the beach where it landed on the ground with an audible thud. There you go. That didn't take you long. You'll be very hit or miss. I got lucky this time. And it's not even the kind of fish I really wanted. I guess that's why I prefer hunting. Yep. And you also don't get the nibble scars on your tail when the fish bite you. There's also this other method which I saw in a totally not a porn comic, I promise you. Uh, where... You know what? Fuck it. If I show you, I'll just use a picture. I see. I, you're not dying. I see. No, I suppose angling is also going to be hard for you. Without folk tail like that. Actually, we have fishing rods where I come from. He totally didn't act like it because he forgot what fucking baiting is. What's that? Principle is very simpler, similar. Uh, basically, it's a long stick that we hold over the water. A line connected to it has a bait and hook at the end of it. And it, it's the end to catch fish. Uh, when the fish bites the hook, we can reel it, reel in the line to get the fish to us. So. You are using a tool to do a very similar thing. Yeah, that's how humans do it. Basically, yes. Sometimes we also use fish as net. Use fish. We also fish using nets. The fuck did I say before? We we nets using fish? What? No. I don't know. Oh, some of us do as well. Not my kind, but usually it was. Usually it's those who either work for a fishing company or sell seafood on the market. I imagine someone like. You doesn't have to buy. I imagine someone like you doesn't have to buy their fish in the market, though. True, but sometimes it's easier just to get them, get them there. Get. Okay. Sometimes it's easier just to get them there to get what I want to instead of coming all the way here. I see. Speaking of which, oh, let me get a few more. Funny enough. Feel free. Once more, Adine took to the sky to hunt for fish. Oh, it was interesting to watch her for a bit. She kept hunting for a while, and I started passing the time by collecting some more some seashells. Do you also want to, like, I don't know, make a gra hole in the ground to put the fish in because it's hot, probably? Start to smell real soon. You, I should ask me for a while. Oh, what are those? Seashells? It's bored. They're for you. Souvenir when I get them. Uh, yeah. For you. For me. What for? Well, you could decorate your apartment with them or something. I see. Maybe I should ask you to clarify this, but why does this have any particular significance? Humans. Not really. Just a gift. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Fraser. All that hunting is what's good for me. I feel ready to start the practice now. Um... I don't know how long I've been recording. Let's see. A good amount of time. So, I guess I skip ahead. For a bit um so i will probably call it here because i have a zoom call soon apparently um sucks that i couldn't get through the entire day i don't know maybe i'll edit it in who the fuck knows anyway uh if it continues it continues if it doesn't it doesn't so maybe bye